to week seven of the Broken series. This week's topic is Broken Churches. Our congregation has had our seasons of brokenness. Sadly, most churches have been broken at one time or another in their histories. Some make it, some don't. Praise God, our congregation survived our brokenness with God's help. Of all places to be healthy and whole, it should be a church. The church, of course, is never broken, but our local congregations sure can be. The damage caused by these broken groups of people can last a lifetime. A broken church is more damaging than just one broken relationship. These congregational breakups shake our faith. The place we go to strengthen our faith becomes a place of disagreement, fear, pride, jealousy, and bitterness. We expect those character traits in the world, but not in the church, not in the body of Christ. In the book of Revelation, we find examples of some churches that are broken. Some, like Ephesus, had forgotten their first love. They were healthy and whole on the outside, but empty and devoid of joy on the inside. They were sort of like a hollow milk chocolate Easter bunny all glossy and beautiful on the outside, but once you bite into it, nothing. I would much rather have a Cadbury egg with its sweet milk chocolate outside and that luscious cream center inside. Mmm, delicious. Some other churches in Revelation had allowed false teachers and doctrine to infiltrate the church. Differences of opinion can break a church. We must cherish and uphold the truth of God's word in our congregations. Other churches are dead and they don't even know it. They are alive and doing things, but not the right thing. Disobedient is rampant. They need to repent and change their broken behavior. We need to strengthen and encourage each other in right behavior. The rewards of righteous living are so worth it. And then there are examples of churches that are neither hot or cold. And it just makes God want to, well, puke. They are broken, useless for their intended purpose. They think they're so smart and they don't need God anymore. But they are poor in spirit and blind to the truth. They need to repent and find real riches in God's truth and love. Yes, the local congregation is a group of flawed, broken, and forgiven people. But the mission of the church should be to encourage and lift up, not to break down. Let's don't be a broken church, but let's be the one true church. <music>